Picks 106, Quinn and Cantera. Uh, it's uh, Super Bowl Sunday. That's one of the big holidays, more or less. It's right. not a holiday, but it's well, like it's, a holiday. It's a big one. Uh, Martin Harding and Mazzotti offers free cab rides home. Just call their number, 1-800-LAW-1010. Tell the operator you need a cab, and Martin Harding and Mazzotti get a cab right out to you. Here's Paul Harding. Martin Harding hey, Mazzotti. good morning, guys. Good morning. So this has kind of been a big story, and I actually know a few people who had real trouble, not the last storm, but two storms ago, yeah. getting their uh, propane tank filled up. Yeah, I mean, it's like they go... Break this down for us, Paul, because th- th- these companies, it's not like they're doing it on purpose. they got to buy stuff in advance and that kind of thing. But uh, these poor families are without heat. They are. So what's happening here is you got the situation where you've got nothing but who done it on, on one side or the other. So you, you, you've got a, a dangerous piece. We look at propane as something that heats our house, but if... Things go wrong. That's when they really, really go wrong. And it makes, you know, not only local but national news. Occasionally, you know, a house blows up, and it's just one of these things that, that go to the back of everybody's mind. So right. here, you've got a company. They inspect it. They make sure all the things like your bleeder valve and your blockers and all the things that, that can go wrong are safe. But now they can't get out and service you. There's a few companies that are just overwhelmed, and other companies won't come. So they're trying to get some legislation that says, listen, new supplier. We'll let you come in under an emergency situation, and we'll try to protect you against liability. That's the sticking point. All right, so this is this is the, the company owns the tank, and so if you're in an emergency situation your company can't get to a delivery, well, okay, fine, I'll call another company who can deliver, but they won't fill the tank because it's not their tank for the liability that Paul talked about. And, so and hence the problem. They're right? trying to fast-track legislation so that customers can get their tank filled. Will these companies that fill tanks they don't own be totally off the hook if something happens? That's the, that's the question I think they're debating right now, right? So if they do what they do safely, um, and the, the, their theme is, hey, listen, you know, we didn't come in and inspect. We don't, we don't want to fill this tank. We're willing to do it, but we want to be protected. It makes perfect sense from their perspective. You know, from the other perspective, uh, you know, if all of a sudden it is a house that has been turned down and, and, and hasn't had regular deliveries because it had safety concerns, right. some new – Company comes in, unbeknownst to them, they fill it up, and there's that you know, legendary explosion and all the bad things that happen. So, it, yeah, I mean, we want people warm. We want people to be secure in their homes. And uh, so there, therein lies the fight. And I guess when it all comes down to it, um, they got to find a way to have a quick inspection and then provide the propane service. So is this the case? Like, Can we say, is this the case of government actually – trying to do something good for the people, right? I mean, they're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to let your Nana not freeze to death during the right. ice storm. Right. Right? <laughs> right. No, absolutely true. Needs to happen. You know, I think really when you look at these companies, they mentioned a few in the you know in, in the article that a few that I read, you know, they just sort of don't have the capacity to fill when there is cold weather. When there's a super cold weather and everyone's calling for it, they just can't do it. And So maybe some more regulation on that front uh, combined with some emergency ability here will keep Nana warm. (laughs) Thank God all the solar panels aren't getting taxed 30 percent coming into the country because that wouldn't help. (laughs) Well, we can make solar panels right here in this country, though. Uh, Yes, but they won't be that price. And then one one more one more legal question. Like how how fast is fast track compared to not fast track? Yeah, so fast track looks like they're trying to do something in. You know, days or a week, right? Uh, Ten days. You know, sometimes legislation can take several years to pass or certainly take a full session and a session and a half, months and months. So, no, this is one of those things they're trying to say, look, no one disagrees that people need to be warm. Therefore, legislators all over the state who have different parties, we all agree on this. Therefore, let's fast track it, meaning let's just get a bill signed today. Never seen it. Never seen Sen- Senator Tedesco out there on the TV as much as I've seen him in the last for this, couple for of this weeks. Bill right here. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been humping. Very out passionate there. about this. He Getting sure is. The camera. Yeah, it's important. Thanks, Paul. We Thanks appreciate for it, buddy. This, yeah. All right, guys. All right, it's Paul Thank Harding you. from Martin Harding Mazzotti. One eight hundred Law ten ten. One eight hundred Law ten ten dot com. Quinn and Cantera in the morning. Morning.